what in the world is going on in Acts chapter 5. Today we're in Acts in August, uh, chapter 5, going through the book of Acts, and we see a story that is oftentimes skipped over. I mean, there's many parts of the Bible that people who are Christians skip and don't really talk about, but I don't think we should do that. And I think a lot of times these things we skip over, uh, we should look at them in the context of when they were written and the culture that they were written in instead of looking from our own perspective. And what I mean here we see two people essentially smited down for uh, doing something wrong. And this seems way out of character for God, especially in the New Testament. So here's two things I want you to see from this story. Look at scripture in the light of when it was written, if you really want to understand it. People were stoned and killed for so many different things that they did wrong at this time. So it was much more normative to see someone killed for making a mistake, but that doesn't make it all right or make it uh, normative for what God would do. And the other part is that part of following God is understanding that there's a power and balance and realizing that we should be in awe of him every day, that we're not on the same level as God. And if we want to be on mission for God, he's in control and we aren't. We don't get to walk all over him. He's not like a genie in a bottle that grants wishes for us uh, whenever we want him to.